Welcome back. In this video, let's write our very first test in React. We're going to keep this simple and write a test very similar to the test Create React App provides out of the box. For our example, we're going to create a component called greet, which renders the text hello. We will then write a test to ensure the component renders correctly. Let's begin. I'm going to create a new folder called components in the source folder. Within the folder, I'm going to create another folder called greet. Within this folder, I'm going to create a new file called greet.tsx. TSX since we're using TypeScript. If you don't prefer TypeScript, you can call it greet.js. Now I am used to kebab case naming convention because of Next.js, but feel free to use Pascal case for file names if that is what you're used to. Within the file, we're going to create our component. I'm using the React snippets extension, which allows me to type RAFC and tab to create a component. Here, I will remove the React import as it is not needed in React version 17 and above. I will also change the JSX to hello and save the file. This is our component. Now we can create a test for this component to ensure it renders correctly. Within the same greet folder, I'm going to create a new file called greet.test.tsx. Now remember, all you need in a test file is the test method which runs a test. So let's invoke test, which is globally available in a Create React app project. The first argument to test is the name of the test. Let's call it greet renders correctly. The second argument to test is a function that contains the expectation to test. Let's add an arrow function. Within the arrow function, we begin by creating a virtual DOM of the greet component against which we test our assertions. To create a virtual DOM of the component, we use the render method from React testing library. So at the top, import render from at testing library slash react. Next, within the function body, call render, passing in the greet component. Make sure to import the component at the top. Now that we have the virtual DOM, let's check if the text hello is present. For that, let's query the global screen object that React Testing Library provides. Import screen at the top, and then we use the getByText method available on the object. Screen.getByText, and the text is hello. We're using a simple string instead of a regular expression like before. Let's store this in a constant. The const text element is equal to screen.getByText passing in hello. Finally, we can use the expect method from jest to test our assertion. So expect text element dot to be in the document. As you can see, this reads pretty well. We expect text element to be in the document, which is the virtual DOM created by the render method. And that is pretty much our test. Let's ensure it works. Save the file and in the terminal, run the command npm test or yarn test. This time, Jest will find the new test and run it. We see the test name, which is greet renders correctly, and the status is pass. Of course, you need to keep in mind, 
tests that never fail are also useless. The goal of having tests is for them to fail when the application misbehaves. Let's change hello to hello with a lowercase h. As soon as we save the file, the test reruns and this time the status is fail. We can now be confident that the component as well as its corresponding test work as expected. We also see a helpful error message. Unable to find an element with the text hello with a lowercase h. Let's fix this using a regex. I'm going to say the test should match the text hello and please ignore the case. Save the file and the test reruns with a pass status. Hopefully, you're now getting a hang of what it means to write an automated test and verify if it works as expected. Let me quickly summarize what we have done. We started off by creating a component called greet which renders the text hello. We then created a test file alongside the component file to write our test. We added the test method, passed in a name and a function which contains the expectation. The expectation is that the greet component should render and the resulting DOM should contain the text hello. We then executed the npm script yarn test which runs just in watch mode. Just picks up the newly written test and feeds back the result to us in a nice format. We also made sure the test fails and corrected it with a regex instead of a string argument. If this is clear, in the next video, let's write our second test but with a slightly different approach. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.